Hello, welcome to Energy Bar Toolkit Repeat Renderer Tutorial, the second tutorial video in this learning series. This time we will talk about renderer that allows to create progress, status or health bars using repeating textures. It's just perfect for displaying collectible items as hearts, just like in Legends of Zelda games, or coins. If you still don't know what I'm talking about, just watch and for a few minutes you'll be ready to use Heart's energy bar. As before, let's start with empty scene. We need to create new empty game object and change its name to Heart's bar. Now we must attach renderer script called energy bar repeat renderer, which is located in energy bar toolkit, scripts, energy bar repeat renderer. Now let's look at the inspector view. If you have noticed, it looks very similar to inspector of field renderer. There are four separate sections. Textures, position and size, appearance and effects. So many things here will work almost exactly the same. If you haven't seen the previous tutorial, I recommend you to go back and see it now. The link is in the description, where you can also find the wiki page address, where all video tutorials are listed. Fine then, let's talk about things that are different. We will begin with the textures section. Let's start with icon field. This is the only field we must set up before something will be visible on the game view. Let's set in here the hard icon that is located in energy bar toolkit. Example textures, repeat bar, and heart. And three hearts appeared in the game view. Now we can play with the value current property to see how our ball will behave on different value settings. The maximum energy bar value displays exactly five hearts. Now it's the best moment to explain how repeat count works. By default it's five. This is the number of how many icons should be rendered at the top value. Next is Icon Tint. This is the color tint that you may want to apply to your icon, especially if you prepare textures in grayscale. Next is Slot Icon. This is interesting one. Let's move Hard Slot into this field to see what happens. See, nothing has changed. But what if I try to decrease value current? Do you see the difference? There are hard shaped slots in place where hard icons normally would appear. Pre-multiplied alpha option is an information that your textures has color components multiplied by alpha component. If you don't know what this means, the best option is to leave it disabled. You can read more about pre-multiplication at the official wiki page. Now let's talk about position and size. First difference that you may notice is there's no position in general, but there is start position field. This is the position of first icon in the sequence. If you would like to set the size of icon manually, you can do it by setting size for one icon at icon size field. The most interesting option here is icon's distance. This is the delta vector for every next icon that is displayed. Now it's set to 30x and 0y. That means that icons will have 30 pixels distance in x between each other. We will skip appearance section completely, because it's very similar to what we know from field renderer. Last one is effect section. And now I will show you how this effect looks like. And remember to enter play mode to see smooth effect.
And this concludes the Energy Bar Toolkit Repeat Renderer tutorial. I hope that you like it and make great use of it. Don't forget to look at the other tutorials. Thank you and see you next time.